Sir and the father of Arman and Amal Malik. I'm sure he also likes that uh, to be called like that as well. Uh, but yes, on his own, he's been a music composer. He's still composing music. He has uh, MWM, which is a label which he started with Amal. Uh, well, more than we'll start this interview with uh, tributes to the um, legendary Vani Jairamji who passed away, who was very closely associated with Mr. Dabu Malik's family. So, uh, can you share any memories of her uh, that you? Yeah, so uh, generally, I always feel that artists and creative people's identity sometimes gets lost in the time zone. And I always feel that there is a big pain that there is no contribution, there is no immense contribution, there is no work that someone has done. In the time of the sands of time just you know, kinds of takes away so many memories of people. Jo current log hote hai. Matlab ki jo legendary log hote hai, unki yade definitely rehti hai, wo to saari zindagi rehengi. Lekin is daur dhup mein, is bhaag daur mein, jaysay mujhe suddenly jab wo pop-up hua ke Vani Jairam no more, mujhe bada ajeeb sa laga because humare rishta, when I was a kid, I was 15 years old or 12 years old and I used to see this lady associated with my father, Shri Sardar Malik. So, all the memories, today, so many years ago, they had to come to them, 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 and to rehearsal with my dad. These are all the memories of my dad. And then we realize that we have never tried to connect with that thing, that we don't give that importance to that thing. कनेक्ट करते हैं बहुत सारे रीजन होते हैं अपनी खुद की स्ट्रगल होती है दूसरों से दूरी हो जाती है एंड दैट्स हाउ हाउ लाइफ इज कभी कभी मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि आज ही मेरे मन में ये थॉट आ रहा था आफ्टर रीडिंग अबाउट वाणी जयराम जी के उनकी जो आवाज थी और उनकी जो पोजीशनिंग थी वो हर एक लेवल पर उनको इतनी रिस्पेक्ट मिली इतनी सक्सेस उनको क्रिएटिवली मिली उनका एक अपना स्तंभ जैसा पोजीशन बना था एक आइडेंटिटी बनी थी लेकिन समय के सलाब जैसे मैं हमेशा कहता हूँ कहीं कुछ चीजें रह जाती हैं कहीं कहीं कुछ बातें रह जाती हैं कहीं कुछ सपने अधूरे रह जाते हैं एंड आई एम श्योर कि उनको इतनी सक्सेस मिली लेकिन उनके दिल में काफी ऐसे खाब थे जहाँ पर वो बहुत सारी चीजें यानी बहुत सारे गाने गाना चाहती होंगी and mm -hmm. I really identified with that isolation, with that pain. Somehow or the other, I went into the world of melancholia and I really missed her because I was so proud of her. 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 She is no more. So, man, really, I was very disturbed and a lot of emotions were at play. And I said, I've never had this kind of pain for so many years. So, I was really, 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 I am really uh, kind of blessing and sending my all my blessings to her soul and may she in a great place and I know that there will be many youngsters who will not know that Vaini Jairam Ji is who he is or what he was singing but I am very happy to remember them and I am very happy to remember them. Can we have a song in her memory? हाँ, I think I think जब बात ही अपने मन की है तो definitely वो गीत मेरे मन में आता है जो हमारे हिंदुस्तान की लेगेसी और हमारे कल्चर का हिस्सा है। It is not just a song, it is a culture, it is like a hymn, it is like a ग्रंथ, it is like a श्लोक जो हम सब definitely कहीं ना कहीं किसी ना किसी मोड पर गाते हैं। वो वो गीत है हमको मन की शक्ति देना मन विजय करें दूसरों की जैसे पहले खुद को जय करें हमको मन की शक्ति देना ये हमारी जिंदगी का हिस्सा है और मुझे दुख इस बात का हो रहा है कि मैं उनके जाने के बाद उनको मैं याद कर रहा हूँ जो हमेशा से इंसान के साथ यही होता है और हम भी उसके शिकार हुए काश के मैंने थोड़ी सी मेहनत की होती और काश मैं उन उनसे मिलता और कुछ बातें करता और और वो जो मेरे पापा के इतने क्लोज एसोसिएट थे काश 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 बहुत सारे काश हो गए आज बहुत बहुत याद आए 
और ये ये जो प्रेयर है आई थिंक इसकी मीनिंग बहुत ही ज्यादा डीप है एंड इट्स इट्स अ इट्स सो रेलेवेंट टुडे एंड इट्स अ क्लासिक उसको हम कभी भी गा सकते हैं यू टॉक्स अबाउट योर हौसला इट टॉक्स अबाउट योर करेज इट टॉक्स अबाउट विल टू गो ऑन एंड शी रीसेड वो इतना अच्छा लिखा था कि भेदभाव अपने दिल से साफ कर सके भेदभाव अपने दिल से जो लाइन ही है दोस्तों से भूल हो तो माफ कर सके दोस्तों से भूलो झूठ से बचे रहे सच का दम भरे दूसरों की जय से पहले खुद की जय करे हमको मन की शक्ति देना मन विजय करे मुश्किलें पड़े तो हम पे इतना कर्म कर साथ दे धर्म का चले तो धर्म कर खुद पे हौसला रहे बड़ी से ना डरे बड़ी से ना डरे हाँ दूसरों की जय से पहले खुद को जय करे मतलब और क्या चाहिए इससे बड़ा लेसन Uh, हमारी जिंदगी का कोई नहीं हो सकता आई थिंक इट इज अ फुटप्रिंट व्हिच विल नेवर फॉरगेट एंड द होल लाइन इज दूसरों की जय से पहले खुद को जय करें नो दैट इटसेल्फ इज सच अ प्रोफाउंड लाइन या सो इन हर मेमोरी एंड इन हर थॉट्स एंड शी आल्सो वन द रिसेंटली वाज कंफर्ड द पद्म भूषण व्हिच शी कुडंट प्रोबब्ली डिड नॉट गो टू द सी सो बट सच अ स्टॉलवर्ड एंड आई एम श्योर the fact that uh, there's so much respect towards her like there is so much of respect towards music and musicians and you've been surrounded by them all your life uh, any other musicians that have you know imprinted in your life as you were growing up if you, you can share that as well you can so definitely the the greatest impact uh, of any music person that had on me my primarily is my father shri sardar malik he has been my biggest biggest uh, musical guru musical impact for an entire family whether it is anu ji whether it is amal arman whether it's my journey matlab like, what are we and our existence has no meaning uh, because wo hain to hum hue aur wo the isliye hum kuch kar sake zindagi mein because wo hamare jisko bolte hain na ki wo pura darya the aur hum choti choti lehar ban kar kinare tak pahunch sake और वो पूरा का पूरा सागर थे और उनका इम्पैक्ट बहुत रहा मुझ पर और समय के साथ चलते चलते एंड एज वेन वी वेर ग्रोइंग अप आई गॉट वेरी इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय पंचम दास म्यूजिक एंड आर डी वर्मन बिकॉज दैट इज हाउ वी ऑल ग्रो अप एंड दैट इज वॉट वी थिंक इज द अल्टीमेट मेलेडी एंड टेक्नोलॉजी की जो कॉम्बिनेशन थी वो बहुत कमाल की पंचम दास के संगीत में थी and i think these are the two stalwarts which remain in my heart forever and finally of course uh, as time went by and we reached the music of air rahman so these three uh, great musicians my father shri sardar malik pancham da and rahman are one of the three very influencing factors uh, or people who really inspire me they they are the world of music to me Okay. also the fact that you were in dubai recently for your golden visa and i remember there was an incident of a taxi wala who was singing your song he was so much uh, he was so surprised to see you and he was so happy to you know and he sang yes these are recorded these are the small yeah <laughs> these are the small victories me you jyoti we all were in the taxi and heading and suddenly that man turned and looked at me and said Uh, आपको कहीं देखा है एंड से ओ डब्बू मलिक है आप डब्बू मलिक अरे मैं आपका बहुत बड़ा फैन हूँ और उसने इतने खूबसूरत तरीके से थोड़ा सा प्यार थोड़ा है, बाकी गाया है वॉज टोटली टेकन अ बैक एंड आई सेट कि ये जो छोटे छोटे पल होते हैं ये खुशियों के पल मिलते हैं आपकी जो कॉमन मैन से रिकग्नेशन होती है आई थिंक दैट इज द हाइस्ट पॉइंट और uh, मंजू जी क्या है ना आई थिंक के uh, मेरे बच्चों की किसी लेवल तक जो सक्सेस हुई है या लोगों तक उनका संगीत पहुंचा है और अमल की कंपोजिशन या अरमान की सिंगिंग में जो कनेक्ट uh, बना हमारी फैमिली का आई थिंक दैट इज दैट इज समथिंग फॉर फॉर मी इट इज़ वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट हाई पॉइंट्स ऑफ माय लाइफ बिकॉज उनके कनेक्ट और उनकी सक्सेस की वजह से बहुत सारी हमारी जो चीज़ें हैं जो हमने अपने समय में की थी उनको भी एक जगह मिली उनको भी पहचान मिली समटाइम्स इट टेक्स अ लाइफ टाइम टू रीच आउट टू अ पॉइंट एंड आई थिंक चिल्ड्रन हैव गॉट द ब्लेसिंग्स एंड द ऑफ श्री सरदार मलिक एंड आजादी एंड एंड द मैजिक इज हैपनिंग एंड एज लॉन्ग एज इट इट हैपेंस अ फादर लाइक मी विल ऑलवेज बी हैप्पी एंड थ्रिल्ड एंड कमिंग टू बींग बींग पार्ट ऑफ द यू and becoming uh, getting a 10 year uh, golden visa and uh, you know trying to start uh, an academy and working in the world of music global music in dubai is going to be one of the biggest dreams dream projects for us i want to 
like what I'm doing with MWM in India is that I'm supporting and working with people and talents who are extremely talented and maybe they do not have the big support. So apne ek chote tarike se, I'm trying to see to it, whatever our equity is, whatever our support is, we are giving it to them. And the only criteria is that come with a great song, come with something which you love. And of course, right now we are composing and we are writing lyrics and working on songs which we feel have been left uh, out and undone. So, but if anyone comes to us and has a good job, then we are finding a way to definitely we are finding a way to either guide them to the right direction or if they want us to release, we are also releasing it. And what about, uh, so you are planning to set up an academy in Dubai or is it going to be both? I mean, yeah, of course, universally we will do it. And uh, actually what I'm trying to bridge is the gap between all the musicians all across the world. Right. And uh, uh, Dubai can be a place where, you know, globally a lot of people have easy accessibility to come. And if I want to bring the Indian classical music and collaborate with the Western world, it will be a very easy place to create this confidence and uh, for them also to reach out. Sometimes I think uh, uh, you feel that we should have one global center which brings uh, makes the accessibility easy and for people to get tech support, people to get the right audiences, people to get global audiences and I think Dubai is going to be that destination and I hope that we are uh, able to bring these two cultures of the Western and Indian business together and present different kind of properties and IPs to the audiences mm -hmm. in Dubai and globally. Okay. Also, the fact that uh, you are writing a book on your family and the legacy of music. So tell us about that. That sounds very exciting. Uh, so uh, probably what I'm uh, working on is the story uh, of the journey of a, of a person who saw two stalwarts in his life and the next generation in one life. And that was my father, Sri Shraddha Malik, and his story from the age of 15 and how he uh, took uh, the creative plunge and reached out to uh, the Prithvi theatres and what happened in his life. That is something what I remember of his narrative to me and what happened in his life. Mm -hmm. So a son's tribute to his father and a son's trip and a father's tribute to his son. So it's like, like a whole, like a spectrum of the journey. And... Uh, it ends at a point where, uh, you know, the children are winning the 28, uh, 30 best awards in the world and what a father felt of the entire journey. So the ups and downs, the success and failures, the emotional upheavals. So everything is coming. So it's not dramatic. Mm -hmm. And uh, the mm -hmm. whole thing is in a form of excerpts. It's not being written in a form of a novel. It is being written mm -hmm. in the form of the experiences or the uh, narrative, uh, narrative of uh, of of a of a father to his son. So there is no chronology and there is no screenplay to it. So what is happening is going to be an uh, a compilation of all that was narrated to a son and what the son went through or what his aspirations in chapter format. So there is no characters we are driving. It is not uh, driven by a storyline. It is not driven uh, like a like a Godfather or something like that. But it is a more of a series uh, series of chapters and excerpts which people can then flip through. And every chapter you read will be will be a complete chapter. Hmm. You know, it'll be like hmm. a opening, mid, and ending. And if you read that one one page, then the story ends in that one page. And then, then we keep on moving. Uh, I think we're, I think 2023 November is what we are targeting to come out, come out with a book. Lovely. You will also be launching it in Dubai, I'm sure. Hundred percent. We have to. We have to. Okay. And Dubai, tell Dubai. Yeah. Dubai tell is home now. Yes, it is home. And uh, I mean, do you remember the? You you told me I remember when it was the first time you had come to Dubai uh, with Sunidhi, I think. You said who was a little yeah. girl. Yeah, so if you can recount that experience of how she blew away, she blew the mind off. You know. <laughs> I remember, yeah, this was GS Entertainment, the Salman Khan's and Sohail Khan's company we had come uh, to perform a show. And then the singers were me and Sunidhi. And I still remember we were getting two, two songs to sing. And she was all of like 14 years or something, maximum 14 or 15 yeah. years when she was there. And, uh, and as usual, I have this uh, thing, you know, 
uh, we went into a restaurant and a, on a big restaurant had complete white audiences and uh, in the hotel and i don't remember which hotel that was and uh, the the club was full of white people in the sense the uh, the europeans and everybody was there and there was this english uh, singer singing and i was uh, very sure that she was doing, not doing a great job and i went up to her and I had my guts and like this child and as a ladies and gentlemen and they were all stunned i want you to hear a singer from india and she sang a whitney houston song mm -hmm. and i i said my god this child is going to make it very big and that's that's how it happened mm -hmm. and uh, it was a crazy thing and i always you know kind of just have this thing about me my flair that i come across talent in young people and i feel oh this is this is it now these are the people who need to get mm -hmm. the support mm -hmm. So recently, I did a song "Tum Kabhi Na Bhulna," in which we uh, collaborated with Abhay Jodhpurkar, a very good singer for my company, and that's how my company operates. We are very open for all talents, and there is no kind of uh, you know thought process. Whatever is good is coming on our channel, and we launched a girl called Apurva. She is a student of Suresh Vadkar, fantastic, and uh, now we are working with a new girl called Yashmita. Then we are also working with Abhay Jodhpurkar and. Uh, Harshavardhan Vavre from uh, from a Marathi film singer. Now he's now doing all the South Indian films. So very exciting things are happening, and all the four or five talents which are coming, boys and girls are brilliant. Wonderful. So what next now for you? What so you now next? now the three uh, shortlisted dreams now which I have got is one I want to do a ghazal uh, mm -hmm. thing an EP uh, of three or four songs which I want to sing and. Uh, they have been with me for so many years and i said my god if uh, you know inspired by sanjay leela bansali ji sukoon mm. which arman has yes. sung yes. and uh, ish teri aankhon which is dying that is a source of inspiration so i think those three four now whether they are ghazals nazams or geet i don't know but they are in the format of emotion uh, singing so wo ek teen char gano ka mujhe khud gana hai matlab that is what i want to do and release it release it in mwm so together teen char gano ka ek wo bana ke compilation so that we have started working on there are five more songs to go and uh, i'm working on a kawali so of course the whole focus is on getting quality music and uh, very soon uh, uh, cross fingers amal is also composing for his favorite actor salman khan so uh, that's going to be magical now and we are waiting for that to also happen i think uh, that should by next month should be something that can come so it's like a dream run right now for the family okay. and arban's sun mahi english uh, version has released all uh, global in 39 countries and 39 playlisting it is uh, it's like topping the charts so it's crazy it's we're all very excited about tell me how is it being directed by amal you told me he's very strict आई सेंक तुम कभी ना वो तुम यू ही कभी मिलने हमें चले आई थिंक ही इज अ चिप ऑफ द ओल्ड ब्लॉक यू कैन सी ही इज रियली अ री इनकारनेशन ऑफ माई डैड श्री सुल्तान मलिक पीपल नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम डो नॉट बिलीव दिस इज यंग लैड ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज और ट्वेंटी वन और ट्वेंटी टू वेन ही स्टार्टेड दैट ही इज मेकिंग सच सॉन्ग्स एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू आई माई सेल्फ आई आस्ट एंड क्वेश्चन इम सो मेनी टाइम्स even uh, are you even real mr amal malik are you really even doing this kind of songs and and i get really really uh, shocked because i don't think that i even would have been able to uh, make songs like kaun tujhe yu pyar karega ya main rahu na rahu the kid has got an tremendous ocean of emotions in his heart and he has a tremendous depth and uh, uh, as a composer but he is completely an underestimated kid as far as his creative uh, genius is concerned he's far ahead and of the father anyway is far ahead of his age he's not uh, chronologically you can't match what he does yeah yeah 100% matlab ke i've been a great fan of my father panchan da and madan mohan sir and their music and sometimes you know like the songs which are already there in the pipeline and the kind of songs that he has made as a father i get very amazed because i feel and and the, the luckiest part is you know what uh, touch wood and with the grace of lord uh, i have been able to see this you see as a father to able to see the kind of creative genius and so many stories remain unsaid in life you know where where the parents are not able to see and i think the joy 
of a father seeing his son compose and take the legacy forward of his own father ahead it's ecstatic it is so brilliant and uh, uh, many a times when we are sitting on the piano and he uh, you know sings a song and makes an antra so uh, that uh, kind of joy and that experience is something which cannot be captured you know it's just in the heart and i just look at him so many times he's all of 32 and i just go jump and start kissing him so he also gets amazed flustered and uh, so many times i just uh, i'm on such a high ke ye ye agar aisa kaam kar sakta hai to aage bhi classics banayega Mm-hmm. and uh, i always tell him sometimes he gets low because you know in this world of commercial uh, thing people want to work with ranveer kapoor and uh, shahrukh khan and uh, all the bigger success what pritam dai is doing he wants to do those kinds of films and all and he feels sometimes sad about that he's not that he's not doing that kind of films mm-hmm. but i always remind him i said you should be proud that whatever legacy that you have already done and whatever the 120 songs 110 songs that you have made out of which 70 80 songs are my hot favorite you have left an imprint already on the sands of time so why worry because samay ka jo chakkar hai wo upar niche upar niche chalta hi rehta hai life is a complete journey of success and failure acceptance and rejection so there's lot of things which we discuss and i want him to live a very light and happy life and uh, i try as much as possible to psych him and guide him to do that okay okay any songs from your own children or your own or your father's legacy that like, because you said that you like sad you like that sad pensive uh, tone of songs uh makes you cry but in a nice way any song you can choose any song ha huh, so of course for our family the song that the kids uh, amal made and arban sang a dedication to their uh, story being told by their father i think that's that's the song after saranga teri yaad hai or which was composed by my father i think main rahu na rahu is one of the most favorite song of our family main rahu na rahu tu mujh mein kahi baaki rehna is something which i think aur aapke liye do line gaun kya usko how does it sound when dabu malik sings let's see main rahu या ना रहूं मेरे को एक्चुअली लिरिक्स का अमल एंड अरबान को तो लिरिक्स ऐसे याद रहते हैं माय गॉड दे आर लाइक एनसाइक्लोपीडिया एंड द वुमन इट कीप्स ऑन फॉरगेटिंग एवरी लाइन ओके लेट मी सिंग फॉर दिस फॉर यू बिकॉज़ आई थिंक आई एम डूइंग दिस रीडिंग द लिरिक्स फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड रीडिंग तो मैं गलती नहीं करूंगा होपफुली मैं रहूं या ना रहूं तुम मुझ में कहीं बाकी रहना मुझे नींद आए जो आखिरी तुम खाबों में आते रहना बस इतना है तुम से कहना बस इतना है तुम से कहना फिर आगे क्या कहता है कि कि किसी रोज क्या है 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 हाँ, किसी किसी रोज बारिश जो आए बारिश बारिश समझ ले ना बूंदो में मैं हूँ सुबह धूप तुमको सताए क्या लाइन है समझ ले ना किरणों में मैं हूँ कुछ कहूँ या ना कहूँ तुम मुझको सदा सुनते रहना बस इतना है तुम से कहना बस इतना है तुम से कहना <laughs> but do you do the do you do the edit after the i do start? i will do it now now that you suggest it i will surely try something otherwise i'll send it to you all only you will you edit it and send it back to me 
that's even better okay i i can do that i can do that yes okay i'll send it to you so yes uh, so lovely speaking to you and uh, well i think we spoke well <laughs> yes hope to see you in dubai soon and uh, i'm sure you keep coming here for concerts and other things but of course of course we are coming and uh, i'll just text you the dates yes. right <laughs> thank you very much for speaking to me yes thank you bye so lovely